Welcome back guys and thank you for joining me in another little episode here in Satisfactory. This will be episode 3 of our playthrough, the last playthrough. We're building the last factory. Yeah, we do have it there. So, there are lights on this planet. Yeah, present in one point. Oh, as you can well see. That's kind of far. I'm in photo mode right now. The mystery remains. What's with those lights? We don't know. I have no idea. Well, welcome to the net is to the satisfactory night sky. It's gonna get early in the morning, pretty soon. It's gonna be beautiful in the bunch of light, and you're gonna see what I made between the episodes. I've restrained myself from building too much. My god, it looks so good. So, that's our iron right. You see those boys are kind of yellow in there? That's because those boxes with products are filled up. Uh, that one is still working because it's pushing products into those free assemblers in there. They are building for us the reinforced plates and the rollers, which are getting delivered in some of those boxes. I think it's the last ones. Yeah, those guys are not filled up yet. You know, to have those produce these items. I put in there, I cleaned that one from the bushes and the trees and whatever. And apparently, one escaped. Sneaky. Um, 74 copper. First one, 14. Second one, 30. Third one, 30. That one is not started yet because we only needed 74 on that line. Um, <laughs> I don't want to fall from here. So, yeah, I like that much as well. We'll show it to you in a moment. We are making in there some copper sheets, exactly how many we need, and some wire, exactly how much we need. I'm gonna tell you all about it. And it's going into those assemblers so that we can have our reinforced plates and uh, rollers. I made this huge platform here for our space elevator. Initially, I wanted to put it in there. But I'm not sure I want it in there, you know, because it will be in the way, in the way, I don't know of what, but it's going to be in the way. This platform will extend that way in order to accommodate, let's see, the steel is going to extend that way and that way in order to accommodate the oil and God knows what else. Uh, probably aluminum from that side, I don't know. And that way for the copper, that way for the quartz. Somewhere like on that level in there, so that level, and that level. I want to put a big platform, but somewhere in the back. And uh, bring in there the goods, the trains, the trucks, the tractors, everything, you know. Just to deliver us the goods in here. So these are those assemblers. I probably this guy's kind of filled up in here. Yeah, it is. It's making 10 per minute. And these guys, they, it's two of them making 10 per minute. We don't need those 10 per minute, okay? We only need five per minute for our needs. But at this point, we're gonna let them work like that. With 10 per minute, we got a bunch of stuff in here. It's very good. We're gonna need all of those to build more stuff. Guess what? And when we're gonna get to the motors, I'm gonna use half of that production, half of that production, to put an assembler somewhere, maybe in there. It's gonna take five rotors and five stators, just to make us 2.5 motors and put them in a box in here, okay? But it is gonna be later than the road. I hate that not moving. Um, we're gonna need to unlock the awesome shop just to grab some customization for our final factory here and to grab the sink, the resource bonus sink program, whatever it's called. Because I want to sink all of this stuff in here because I want that line underneath and that one up top to move no stop. And we're gonna start sinking. <laughs> From this line, basically, <laughs> because I want those to move and stop. 
Anywho, um, I went around the map quite a lot. I'm mad. And collected a bunch of stuff. Let's get uh, down with this uh, schedule here. So, these boys in here, I've kind of reworked them. Everything is going in here with these constructors, making biomass. And then, it's going into the last constructor here, which is making biofuel. Solid. Getting deposited in this box, these boys are working on biofuel. I've unlocked the big chopper okay you haven't seen that but it is what it is i'm gonna put the wood in there I'm gonna put the leaves in here and cut it good okay we're gonna make some more solid biofuel for stuff in there we're gonna use some of that on our jetpack when we're gonna unlock it i collected a few hard drives in here not much for it you know the boxes that were opened or required some stuff that I had on me. Uh, these are the drops from there, which is just amazing. Very good. Also, we have nine mercenaries and five summer suits. I collected those until it started acting up, basically. Let me show you. I think I can show you. Yeah, not in there. In here. B. No. O. Yes. In here. In here. So, if you collect them, but you don't scan them, she doesn't talk with them, she doesn't care about it. Well, it started, it started, so I don't, don't want you to miss it. This is the first one that I collected. This is what she said. The astrobiologist Dr. D.M. Mercer was the first to recognize the presence and probable nature of these alien artifacts. These chain melted state spheres are named in his honor. Each sphere emits a unique signal, research it in the MAM to establish locally appropriate classification and application. This was it for the Mercer spheres. That was the first one. Until 9 or however however much we have in there, she didn't say then. After that, we begin with the strange communication. But this is for the first summer slope that I took. The Summer Sloop was named after Marie Somerville, co-founder of Fixit and head of its R&D department. There are many theories about the origin of this shape and why this symbol mathematically resembling a Mobius strip has found its way to both human and extraterrestrial culture. Thankfully, you don't need to know any of these theories to be a pioneer. Research it in the MAM to establish locally appropriate classification and application. Fun Fact the planet you are on was found and named during a planet spotting event Marie hosted named Marie's Awesome Scientific Search of the Avant-Garde Exoplanets. So that's why it's called Massage. Okay. Uh, it was one more. When I picked the last Massive Sphere, stop. I get my first strange communication, which is this one. The effigy has no song, only echoes, but it is part of a river. Why does the effigy avoid the windows? Attention! Your brain's operations are outside typical parameters. Time spent daydreaming will be deducted from your sustenance budget. And then I stop, because no point in collecting more without you guys seeing them. So, now, this one it's all up, okay? I just did it. It is what it is. We're gonna need those. But before doing that, I want to do what's written here. Copper production, because we haven't done it yet. Reinforced plates and rotors. These guys are made. We made them. It's happened. We gotta put down the space a little bit. And we gotta make the smart platings. Just to advance in here at phase 3 with that coal magic. So let's put down our oh, space elevator. Um, by the way, these guys in here are filled up. That boy hasn't been working for some while. Didn't empty the boxes to put them in here. I still have some on me. Yeah. We're good. We're good. Okay, good. Let me get up top real fast, as fast as I can, basically. And put that space elevator down in there. Because she'll talk with us again. And we want her to talk with us. 
because we love her voice, you know? I don't know if this is good or not. I just pressed H on it. Uh, yep, this is good. Building the space elevator now! Hmm, photo mode. That one is kind of offset in there, but let's call it good. Maybe it's not offset. No, I am the one who's offset. Oh, it's dangling! What do you know? Oh my god, he lifted me up. Here we are. Space elevator complete. Project assembly initialized. Congratulations, Pioneer. The space elevator will now automatically connect with the project assembly orbital platform. Project assembly is divided into phases, each of which require the delivery of project parts, such as smart plating, via the space elevator. Subsequent phases unlock access to new tiers with more advanced technologies to construct, automate, explore and exploit. It is time to be honest, this project is part of the Save the Day program, the largest united undertaking in human history, destined to save us all. Earth is in peril and only Fixit pioneers offer hope for survival. Fixit is counting on you. Humanity is counting on you. Do not let Fixit down. So, those boys are filled up. Everything here is filled up as you can see. As soon as we're gonna take products from that box and put it in the other box, these guys will start working. Oh. The, what are they putting here? One of them because it kind of made some uh, calculations in here, let's call them. I would like to have in here the splitters, in here the smelters, in here the mergers. The belt is gonna circle them, just like that one does, because I wanna leave myself enough space in here to expand. And we're gonna have the constructors always on that line in there, delivering the goods into those boxes. So, I don't know, let's, let's, let's begin from here. I'll leave myself a little space in here. This is gonna be more than enough the space that I have in here. Because at some point I wanna bring from there the quartz. I'm not sure if I wanna bring it as ingots. The ingot as crystals or finite products. I think I wanna bring it as crystals and making here somewhere. Processing area. And I wanna feed on this side a line above this fitting in some other two three four five constructors assemblers i said in here that i will take some copper sheets and some of that silica or quartz whatever just to make me the computer boards which i want to put them in some box in there so that's why we're leaving this small space in here okay we're gonna need the mark belt in here it's gonna come from that mark. And let's start placing these guys. We need the 120 because I want to consume everything that that boy has to offer. So we're gonna have four of them in here. Let's place. Uh, by the way, that guy is only consuming 74 at this point. So we could upgrade that one as well. But I don't know. I don't know what to do, so we will not do that. All of this is Mark 1, the middle one is Mark 2 of course, because we need to transport it. All of that 120. Let me invent the power point here. Oh, already have one. Amazing. Just gonna go between these guys. Need to put the recipe in. Copy. Paste, paste, paste. Perfect. Let's connect it to the power. Good. 
stuff. Now we're gonna need mergers, okay? Um, facing towards me. I think India is good enough. Okay. Uh, in here we can have Mark ones because only transport everything in the middle. I would like to have Mark twos because they are merging in their adding up one point. So we're gonna start with Mark two guns, okay? Now this one will go forward as we already established because at some point this one will be Mark two and that one will be Mark two and then Mark three. So I left myself in here space to go with a bunch of smelters in there and we'll do the same stuff in here, okay? So that's one. Two, three, four. At least, okay. At least, at least two forty. Because afterwards, I'm not sure. Um, that one does not need it. I want to do anything else with them. Nevertheless, I feel like I want to go with this one all the way until the end in here and circle back through here with it, just to have as much space I could possibly want. And then I'll come with the belt behind these things. Okay, let's stop with it. So, hmm. Or the issues, you see? That one is making only 74, so we're kind of missing 46 in there, or something like that. Uh, that could mean another one of those, but put in here. But I won't do that because this line will stay like this forever. If I will upgrade those at some point, just to make something else with the ingots in here, I can come in here, or even better, in here with the constructors and pick from this line and deliver the goods out of nowhere if I'm gonna need them. So we're gonna start with our constructors from here, hoping that we're gonna have enough space because we still don't know what we're gonna build okay so let's just put down some of them and that's it we're gonna put um i don't know until here let's say yeah because from here as we already said we want this space free so even this one it's a little too much in here let's see how many we're gonna need so First things first, we know we're gonna need in here a splitter. This one will take this one. Um, yeah, exactly. You guessed it. Misplaced that one. No problem. I'm gonna do it again. Let's grab it from here. Go straight with it. So this is the closest that I can get without making it the funky well now it works this close mm, straight please in here okay and then connect to that thank you very much good stuff now it looks good perfect it's a mark perfect let's continue here uh, i don't know five something like that i don't know if we're gonna need the other so, personal needs, okay? What should we build? How much? Uh, even if we're gonna build more, we're gonna sink the product. So, it, it ain't an issue, okay? Or, maybe, just maybe, we're gonna use them to product some more stuff. Like, those copper sheets. That, yes, I would use them to make more stuff, but... Not other things, only the copper sheets, okay? So this is our first constructor. I want him to make me wire, okay? 30 per minute, it's a good number, but it ain't good enough for our needs because when you're using wire, you're using a bunch, okay? So we're gonna make 60. Okay, we just defined our first production line. Let's call it... How do I want to bring these belts? I think I want to bring them through here because my boxes are in there. So we're going to bring them in there. That space will be kind of empty 
what it ain't gonna end up death empty. Um, where did I place those? I placed them in there. Okay. It ain't gonna be that empty. You know why? Because um, we're gonna have sinks in there. At least one. Okay. So this is our wire. Now, for the cable. The cable you don't need as much as that guy. We're gonna need a lot more at some, but we're gonna make two of them. Making cable. Making wire, that's 60 wire. And those 60 will be transformed into cable. So we have 60 wires uh, going into another constructor. Mark one is more than enough. Making cables, taking 60 is going to make 30 cables. Perfect. We solved that issue. Let's see how much are we consuming right now, because I have no idea. So we're consuming 30 ingots in there, 30 ingots in here, but in this far, it's 60. So we're going to need to consume another 60 ingots. Copper sheets, one, two, three. Oh, it's, it ended up being good. It ended up being good. So all of these three are going to make Copper sheets for us, okay? We're gonna have 30, which is way, way too much for our needs. Basically, we only need 10 per minute, something like that. But we're gonna leave them at 30. Because I told you, I wanna build um circle with those copper sheets. So, we're just gonna merge them and send them up this way. Being 60, that Mark 1 belt is gonna be enough. Uh, I think I didn't connect it. No, I didn't. Okay, let's do that first. Yeah. Uh, maybe I'll place that one right. That's gonna be just a standing. Of course, this merges will be modified when we're gonna have the silica passing through there. And probably we're gonna have an assembler or two or three in here taking this copper sheets, that silica, and delivering the circle boards in there. But for the time being, they're gonna be like this. So this is one exit copper sheets in this point. This is the second for cable, that's the third for wire. So let's go with this one through here. Um, yeah, I want the thoughts. This is the wire. We got them inside. Perfect. Let's grab the cable. I love the fact that I have enough space in here. That means that I can put my sink in there without any issue. We'll keep it close on this side. And now, that one delivers the garbage. Let's do the same thing. Bring it close in here. And then in there. Perfect. Uh, I think this boys will require some power in here. Yep. So those guys are powered. Uh, I think we need to place the rest of these guys. So let's take care of that before starting everything up. Amazing. Mark one. Mark one. Mark two in here. Uh, power. Well. Oh, uh, where's that one going? Oh, I got one in there. Okay, let's invent another one in here for these two guys. Okay. Uh, you can connect to this guy. Let's invent another one for the next two guys in here. Perfect. We got one in here. Which has two connections. That one is connected because it's the other batch. Uh, I think we can start it up. So. Yep, I think we can. I don't see any red sticks. Good stuff. Let's delete that boy because we don't need it in there anymore. And replace it. Uh, trying to aim for this guy. 
something like that, maybe? So, Mark 2, you're gonna need to be connected to the power. Perfect. Let me drop really quick that because I have it on me. We're gonna have our 1 2 copper going in. It's gonna be smelted in here. 1 2 ingots going that way. Being delivered through there, processed in here. Let me check once more if I did the math right. So these guys are gonna take 20. Okay, so it's 20, 40, 60. Oh, look, we have a ballerina here. 60 okay this is taking 15 this is taking 15 so that's another 30 90 this is taking 15 this is taking 15 120 we are golden we just made our copper production right here what do you think about that i think it's just amazing now normally <laughs> uh How should I do this? So normally I would just put an assembly in here uh, and start making those 50 smart plates. Take me my arms and go up there with them. Oh my god, that looks so good up there. I don't like that, but we're gonna get the inverse ramps at some point. Let's take a minute to scan these boys because they are really amazing. And we want to unlock everything in the band. So we're going to put them only here. See exactly what we can scan, what we cannot scan, so on and so forth. So, we don't care about the hard drives. Alien technology, Mercer Sphere. First research. Mercer Sphere Analysis Completed Established Local Planetary Signature of Massage 2 A, B, B, in the local Mercer Sphere signals, allowing them to be tracked by the object scanner. Mercer Spheres can also transmit data between specific Witness our scripture, witness our windows, have you come to defile our shrine? Sing the song. Arguing the existence of intelligent alien life. While Fixit has figured out the method, all of the original data is still untranslatable. So in order to have the next scan, we need to make that thing. That thing is reanimated cell. We need to find ourselves a cell node and extract that cell and then process it in constructors and make it turn it into reanimated cell. We're gonna do that at some point. Let's scan the summer stuff. Summer sloop analysis completed. Summer sloops are somewhere between battery and conduit, harvesting energy from pockets of space with complete disregard for the rules of the space-time continuum and distributing it into its connected ecosystem. This energy Let the energies harvest until the waves reach our shores. Consume. Similarities to the hypothetical force of dark energy to potentially be one and the same. It can now be tracked by the object scanner. So, um, already delivering in here the wire, which is just standing. Let's not forget we got a bunch in here that we got to deposit in there. Uh, those boys need to get empty. So, that means only one thing our production will not work. The one that we just laid down, guess what? That box is filled up. It's gonna stop. It is what it is. We're gonna have the sinks at some point, and that's it. Let's continue with this canceling here. So, for this, that's it. Okay, we need that one. We don't have the reanimated Sam. We don't have the reanimated Sam or the second box for that. Let's go with the Ninchians now. This fruit, dubbed the barrel nut after its distinctive color, is compatible with the human digestive system and has been added to the object scanner. Further research is available. Palaberry. Oh, 
This fruit, dubbed the pale berry due to its tendency to stay light in color even when ripe, is compatible with the human digestive system and has been added to the object scanner. Further research is available. And now the last thing, the bacon. This mushroom, dubbed bacon agaric due to its uncanny resemblance to raw bacon, is compatible with the human digestive system and has been added to the object scanner. Further research is available. You know, to have the further research available, we're gonna need body references still. Okay, so let's forget about it for now. I wanna scan, I wanna scan this guy, so apparently I'm missing some of this stuff. Let's do that. Yellow. Research completed. Yellow power slugs are further into their life cycle than blue power slugs, and thus have more potential energy stored. They can now be processed into power shards. I think screws were needed. What? what, what? I already forgot. Sorry. Didn't pay enough attention. Yes, yeah, screws. For that one, yeah, we're gonna stop in there. But we could use like 100 screws on us. There are five out of here. Do the scan and return those screws really fast because I don't want them in my inventory. Okay, now we can go and listen. Power slugs extract latent energy from their surroundings to sustain themselves. By tuning the object scanner to the particular potential energy signature, it is now able to locate them against the background environmental static. That was it for the scans for now. Let's grab whatever we can from these boxes in here. And let's try and deposit them in these boxes in here. If we can, if we cannot. That guy is filled up. This guy it is filled up. Amazing. <laughs> uh yeah, that guy we didn't have. I think we had some copper sheets as a drop. At some point. I think I put them in that box. Yeah, whatever. So our copper is working. Definitely it's working. These boys in here, we will be able to dismantle them as soon as they empty. Because they filled up copper with ingots with everything. Uh, so they still have a waste. Of copper. I could take those ingots and put them in there, but I'm just gonna let them work in here and that's it. You know, when it's done, I'm gonna put our foundations in here and that's it. Uh, good stuff. So now we will need 50 smart plates. Guess what? We're gonna build it. Uh, in here, second plate. I don't remember how much it is. But I wanna have a separate production line for these guys. Because we're gonna need to build them non stop. It is true. So, somewhere in here, we're gonna have another assembler, these guys. I don't know, maybe we're gonna put it like that. Taking five of those, five of those, making molds. So we cannot use the space, which is good. It's good. We're gonna come in here. Still don't know where to put it. Because it's gonna be in the way of that, but let's call it good. We're gonna need. Let's go with two per minute, okay? So we're gonna need at least two reinforced iron plates and at least two rotors per minute. Well, we already have issues with this build because it should be a Mark III. But it is what it is. We're gonna have to produce more screws for the reinforced plates. Or for the rollers. At this point, those screws are being... Uh, this one should be a Mark III. Used for the rollers. I wonder, do we have another recipe for rollers? That it doesn't take screws. You know, because I hate them. Oh, we get that one. Guess what? Screws. We get that one. Iron rods. And this one. Screws. 
so we don't have no matter how we do this we're still gonna need those screws so we're gonna need some iron well yeah well it's not pleasant at all i don't like it at all but it is what it is no other way so in order to make two per minute we're gonna need four of these we could upgrade their production line in the back end there uh four i'm gonna need eight more copper sheets and a few screws that's not difficult at all and we're gonna need a stitch let's say another four that will give us what we need basically so 20 plates 26 27 wire that ain't much let's see if we can do that gracefully like, because just realize they put those constructors in there continuing with the existing constructors so that wasn't exactly ideal it wasn't good what i did but i did it so what now you know so this one we're gonna need one constructor with iron plates. We're gonna need one constructor with wire, okay? And this boy, screws from here, copper sheets from there. So we're talking about eight cup sheets. And 27 wire. And 27 wire. Good stuff. Let's see what we have in here. Our copper sheets are coming through here. I got a feeling I'm making way more than needed. Uh, this one requires 20. How many are we making on the other side? Got a wonder, you know? Got a wonder. We have a constructor on red. I didn't put power in it. It's the one with the cable. Uh, we'll need another power point here, mister. Let's put it on that line in here. Connect to this point. Done. Good stuff. Let's we'll start making those. So this is the production line needed for that. But we're not making 10 and 10 commissions. So we're making 20 exactly how much that guy takes. Nevertheless, it's gonna fill up. Uh, maybe it missed something at some point and it got filled up. Very likely. So the idea is, I cannot put another constructor in here making 8 for him, okay? Impossible, because I occupy the space. It is? Okay, it's fine. We don't care too much about it. We're gonna need 27 wires, so that's another constructor in here. We're making 30, 60. We could grab this one. Are we? No, we're not. I'm gonna go behind here. Are we gonna... We're gonna grab from this line. And circle this amazing rock in here. If we can. I'm pretty sure we can. We're gonna build them in here. And feed them through the back. Basically. For I told you. This thing will go all the way in there. So, it ain't gonna be an issue if we're going through here. I'm missing concrete. Impossible, isn't it? Yeah, one more. Okay. Made it some more. Missing concrete. Okay, good stuff. Let's cut it. So, we will make them in the back. And then send them through here, just like these guys. Oh my god, almost did it again. Okay, we somehow we escaped this man. Somehow, I don't know how, but it happened. We escaped, okay? It's fine, it's fine. Don't worry about it, it's fine. That means that this wall is obsolete. Okay. This one's I don't know what it's doing here. Looking good. What a joke. Just 
seem a bunch of money on this, but it's fine. Okay, let's take care of those, and then we're gonna pick you for fire reduction. We already know how much we got of it, okay. Good. So, we're gonna pick from this line. Let's invent in here. Um, in here. It should be good. The first one. And here the seven. The second. We're gonna need 27 wire. And we're gonna need 8 copper sheets. I think. Yeah. Alright, I'm good. So, 27 of you. And 8 of you. How many ingots? We're we talking 16. And 13.5. That's exactly 29.5. Wow. It means we're gonna have to produce 30 more ingots. So, my first one is making only 14. Okay, so this is 16 in here. But oh, actually, I should have left it on 14. Let's leave it on 14. And let's activate the one that is in the back. This one is doing nothing at this point. Not anymore. No, it's doing it. Okay. Uh, so. Excuse me for a second accident. Yeah. Good stuff. Okay, so now we gotta get up top in there and modify that miner just to account for those 30 that we are going to put this extra. There's a cave in here. I think it's another Mercer sphere in there. It was spiders, so I didn't want in there. Um, so it's 104. That's what we need, basically. Perfect. Hi there, little buddy. Pet. Okay, let's get down there. Without breaking our legs, if we can. We already have the extra ingots, let's call it. Gonna have to invent some splitters behind these boys in here. So, one in uh, here. Come on. And one in here. Um, let me up, please. I want it aligned with that. So, like that. Uh, Mark 1 should be more than enough for you. For you as well. My power pole. It's in there. Or in there. In there. Let's bring it from there. In here. Connect to these two boys. They'll start making the products. I could merge them. But I don't want to because I don't have splitters. Uh, smart splitters, I want to say. So we said we're gonna circle this stuff in here. That's exactly what we're gonna do. Gonna bring them close one to the next to the other. Gonna go with them this way. Uh, let's say through here because I wanna avoid that rock. Give me the second one, please. Thank you. Much appreciated. Perfect. First main build next to these guys. Second build next to these guys. We could have made the production happen there. Before, in that case, we would have had, have had to bring the iron products in there. So it's the same thing. Bring the iron in there or bring the sheets and the stuff in here. It's the same thing. Okay, it doesn't really matter. So one of them is taking a copper sheets and screws. The other one is taking wire and iron products. Okay. Let's put them um, that way. I don't want to crowd everything in here. No point on it. We're gonna place them in here. Let's not forget the products gotta go up top in there. First I want them in the box in here. Then I want them up top in there. We're gonna say that this position in here is really good. And cut it good, you know. So, you. Uh, sorry. You are going away. This one will feed into our first, sorry, assembler here. Just like that. This one here is gonna feed into our second assembler. 
I don't even know what they're transporting. But it's fine. It's gonna be fine, don't worry about it. Okay? Good stuff. So one of them is taking something. Uh apparently this this one is where that one is copper sheets, so it's fine. So this one, it's copper sheets. This one is gonna make the rollers. Uh so it's the first one here. Perfect, I pasted the recipe. And this one is the one with the this way, the one with the wires. Okay, so copy and paste into this one. Uh, delete that in there. We will need some power in here for this place. Let's put the power pole already in here. And now let's go connect it somewhere. Apparently, that's my main. I'm gonna put it in here. I'm gonna put it in here. I'm gonna connect to the main. I'm gonna put it in here. In here, in front of this boy. Break that. Come in here. Connect to that. And then connect to that. That one can go away. Thank you very much. Okay, they have power. They will get filled up. Okay. We don't really care about anything else. Now, let's see. We're gonna need 13.33 plates. So, 14 plates. Okay. And some screws. We're gonna need 7 screws. Let's go to those 70. That means 2 constructors. And... Um, how much are we using on the second one here? I feel like we were not using the full capacity of that second miner. We're gonna need a little more. This one's making sense. Uh, let's see how much we're producing with the first miner and with the second miner. That will give us an idea. This one is 115. We will not play with him. Well, this one it's only 95. So guess what? We won't play with them. Because we have in their place for like a bunch of ingots. So we're gonna put them in here and deliver them to the other side. Perfect. We set the three of you. One, two, three. Oh my god, and they fit. Amazing. I don't expect that. Honestly. I didn't. Okay. Okay, good. <laughs> dang it, dang it, dang it, dang it. Uh Power to those two in there, please. To you, to you, and to you. Amazing. Distribution in here. This will work because it's 120. Because we're only producing 120, so this first and here. They only take 94 or however much it was into that minor because who remembers, right? Who? Nobody. Okay, so mark two. Mark two. Oh, I think I need another one in there. Mark one. So, oh, I'm gonna make screws. One of them is gonna make a couple sheets. Uh, these sheets. Only issue, somebody didn't lift enough place in here for anything. So, I could put them on this line and then from that line and send them in there and I think that's exactly what I'm gonna do but don't know about those screws because uh, yeah well can I put a oh my god it's looking bad okay so if I connect it the other way well I could scooch this thing. well it ain't gonna be pretty mister we don't like that I need that one to fit inside there. Well, there is a way to do that. So, if you do like that, you see that that belt is gonna pass through there. Well, we need a belt that is gonna pass closer than that in there, okay? That's the key of aligning that. So, if I put the belt in here, I think it's gonna work. Let's try and do that, okay? So, we're gonna need, I don't know, three steps. Four stacks, something like that. Uh, we know that on that line, 
this is the last one so we come on let me there we're gonna need them um, in there one two three four we lost the daylight sorry I'm gonna connect that to that uh, let's try and get up top in there if we can we were able they did that uh, we're gonna need mergers aligned with this Okay. No other choice. So, this is the exit, in here is gonna be the merge. This is the exit, in here is gonna be the merge. Don't worry about it, it's gonna make sense in a second. If I can get up, thank you very much, much appreciated. Um, this is my exit, this is my merge. I hope it's good. So, let's see. Did I meet? No, because it's, well, if I put it from, oh my god, no. Well, I got it fits, but I forget that I should have pushed it two spaces behind. Okay, good. Give me another minute here. I'll move these guys two spaces in the back. And catch you guys back in a minute. One, two. So it's going to have to be exactly. Okay, good stuff. Let's try it now. It doesn't connect. Because they're not properly aligned. I hear that. Oh, that one connect. Okay, good. So we got one in place. The stream aim that one a little better. It should be somewhere like in here. I cannot align myself. I should connect, but it doesn't. You know what? Let's just align it with something in here. So, that guy is gonna have to be in here. Oh, dude. Yeah, that way. In there. And now, when I'm getting up here. I should be looking at these guys. I'll end up with that. No. Yeah, and it snaps. This one. It's not perfect. Okay, so that's one. This should be the second one. And the third one. Okay, perfect. Um, I want those there first. So those will have to go in. All I wanted is to put these guys in here. You know? Just not to touch my belt. That's that's everything I ever want. Okay, so I'm gonna put them on top of this in the level. Okay, that one I can bring it from there in here. So let's make that one along with this one. Delivering goods. Let's call it in here. Like this. I think it's again. So this will be one of them. Which is gonna be the single one. The single one is the one which make makes plates. We're gonna have to make 14 of them this time. Thank you very much. Uh, those two guys are gonna make screws. So we're gonna grab a merger from them. And we're gonna connect them in here. Send them down. I deleted the power line by mistake. Very good. Now for the screws, we need seven. So it's fret five and fret five. Perfect. All plates are being delivered in there. We're gonna take care of that in a moment. Uh, one it like in. So, which one is the first one, let's see, because that one should be on the exterior. The first one is the one with the plates, okay, let's stop. That guy is gonna be on the exterior, so I'm gonna invent another one in here, on the interior, you know. I 
cannot see if it's right or not. Gotta get up top again, sorry. Gotta be on that level. So maybe... Like that? Ah, uh, it's too high. Okay, perfect, we did it. How many? Seven screws. So that will have to become a mark too. Uh, that guy will have to become a mark too. Let's bring the plates first. No, let's bring the screws first. Mark two, please. Okay. Apparently, I, I'm kind of into that, so it's fine. Yep. These screws are missing the plates, the reinforced plates. Let me go grab some. So these screws will have to be delivered in here. Let's come with that belt in here. Oh, uh, yep, that would be very good. Until here, let's leave our some some. Ah, uh, until there, let's call it. I'm gonna put a mark two lift in here. Since in front that way, gonna put the mark two lift. Taking the front that way. And this, it's all delivery for those screws. Now, let's take care of the delivery of the plates. Uh, they're kind of touching each other, aren't they? Yeah, they are. Okay, good stuff. Let's bring it like that. Through here. And from here. In here. Good stuff. We have the blades and the screws inside. Now it's time to make those uh, those stuff that we need so bad. So we're gonna put it right in there. Aligned with that foundation. The edge. H. Like that. Mark one, more than enough. Missing iron plates. Missing a, a bunch of stuff today, wouldn't you? <laughs> Keep building here. How are we with the bar? Uh, capacity to 40, maximum consumption to 90. Well, I think it's because of that stuff in there. Which is gonna be deleted soon enough. But um, we might have issues in here with the bar. I might have to go and put some more of those. Where is my pole? In here? Okay. Done. So we want one connection, we want the second connection. And then we want a big box in front of it. Uh, yeah. Why not in there? We just made it. Happen. We're gonna have two smart plating per minute. That means in 25 minutes we're gonna have that one. So in the next episode we'll be able to deliver. And this eh, it's a permanent build. Okay. Only thing we're missing is the ingots. So we get one one in here. 875. 21 plus 8.75 plus. 875 exactly so it's a 725 1.5 38.5 ingots more we need to supply on the second line here so let's take it yeah do i have four smelters i do amazing this is the line i'm interested in. no is the other we have four smelters that means we gotta add 38.5 this one it's filled up Freddy. This Freddy. This Freddy. This one not so much. But it doesn't add up. Something is wrong. Because this was only making 95 until 120. Oh it's 24. 24. Yeah, 25. So we get a deficiency of 13.5 ingots. Well, I think I want to go put a sharp. 
Let's make it happen, okay? We're gonna have another smelter in here. We're gonna have another one of these in here. I don't wanna take another no. Like this one for threatening us. No. That ain't gonna happen. So, mark one. We're gonna have another merger in here, of course. So, that lane will have to get broken. Oh, we're gonna have issues. We're gonna have issues. We're gonna have big issues. Because this bell, it's only able to transport 120. And we're gonna produce one freight design. So, another bell to modify the AG. Here you go. You did a very good job. Uh, 13.5 we need. Okay, good. Let's go make a shard. A tiny little one. We're gonna sacrifice another slug in here. Uh, ba -bum 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 -bum. In here. I wanna keep the consumption of this slug to minimum. Because I wanna upgrade. Um... A constructor to make multiple with the summer source. That's the idea. So 13.5 we'll have to do. Let's call it 14. Uh, sorry. Perfect. Uh, you're gonna need some power, isn't it? I think so. There you go. And you. We we'll have to make a kind of fit first. No other choice. It is what it is. So, issue number one. Well, this guy in here should become a mark free. We don't have mark free. We have another belt in the back that should be mark free. So, at least on here, when it's sitting pretty, it should be a mark free. Not to say that all of it should be a mark free, okay? because all of it. We're gonna have to remember that somehow. Well, we're gonna fix that one. Let's see. So, copper production is fixed. Space elevator is done. Smart plating are being done. Once we're gonna deliver the smart plating, we're gonna have access to coal power. Once we deliver, I think they're built with these guys in here, the generators, I mean, and the water extractor. So it's nothing special. There is one more caviar. If you look in uh, here at parts, we're not building the modular frames yet. And we're not building them because those are crappy recipes. As soon as we will unlock steel, I think we're gonna have a better recipe in here, and I wanna use that. If not, we're gonna do them with rods, and that's it. But for the time being, we don't need those in our lives. So that means we will not build them yet. Uh, we will take another node or just upgrade these miners. Make another stack belt in here and make another row in there at some point. So let's just prefer it. Just so that we know what we're doing here. So it's gonna come on there and then most likely it's gonna feed well that row is kinda of easy. So we're gonna cover it in like that and then it's gonna feed that way. This wall will go away from here because we don't need it anymore. So we can expand this already in there. Let's not forget to leave ourselves an entrance in here, at least two by, just to be able to descend towards the coal. Um, kind of free to walk in there. Only eight, please. Come on, one more. Can I get it on eight? Got it on seven. Good enough. 
Okay. And uh, we're gonna put the next constructors, snuggers, assemblers, whatever we're gonna need in here. Just to make some uh, some Mario. I'm thinking something like 5 per minute is gonna be enough for our needs. Uh, maybe 10. I don't know. But 10 implies that I'll do some construction with them. I don't wanna do that. No, I want them to sit in a box there until I'm gonna use them for building stuff. So, no point in overdoing that right now. No, absolutely no point. So we're not gonna do it. Since I have this amazing hole in here, apparently we're gonna leave a lot more space in here. Right, jump with it over. I don't know. We're gonna need a spit there. I think we're gonna start to our production from here somehow. Leave this space open, put our constructors in here and cut it good, you know. So I would like to make this one like a nice beautiful entrance in here into some place secret. Like so I'm thinking not walls because they're boring. Beams uh Put some walls in here but skip one you know and put some windows in that's what i'm thinking i don't know if i'll be able to build something like that but i'll do my best to make it beautiful put some lights in there and call it good nevertheless what we're waiting for now is those 50 to happen i didn't put a leaf to deliver them straight into the space elevator because there is no point we have 15. Well, in the next episode, I think we're gonna have those 50, and it's gonna be just amazing, you know. Now, we don't have summer slopes. Uh, two hours already. Amazing. Uh, unlocked. So we cannot put it in here to double the production. But there's gonna come at some point when we're gonna have what we need, basically. That's still, that's more stuff. In order to upgrade this, we're gonna need SAM nodes, I believe. Yeah. So, into the next one, we should really go for that SAM, SAM node. But first, we gotta unlock the power. No other choice. Don't wanna do anything else until then. I mean, that one it's really tempting to do it by now, but think about it. That guy, it's power. We don't have that power, miss. We need the coal in our lives. It is what it is. That's that's our next thing that we're gonna do in there because we're getting really close. No point in existing more than we have to. Apparently these boys have finished in here, so I will be able to delete everything in here and fill my floor up. So it's gonna be just outstanding. Don't know if I'm gonna break too much power or not, but it is what it is. I'm gonna have to live with it. Nevertheless, this episode is long enough. So guys, I think we're gonna shut it down in here. Thank you so much for being here for watching this. If you like, don't forget to drop a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel if you have see more. And if by any chance you wanna support my dream of becoming a full-time content creator, you can do that by grabbing a Sales Economy's membership. Thank you again for being here. I'll see you in the next one. Take care of you all. Bye now.